reporters are standing by with live team coverage tonight of the Freddie Gray death investigation and the standing state of emergency. All right, let's begin with the 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer live at City Police Headquarters. Lowell. And the big piece of information that came out of police headquarters today was at 8.50 this morning, the police department turned over its investigation into Freddie Gray over to the state's attorney's office so that the state's attorney's office can now begin its investigation. As you guys pointed out, this is a day earlier than Commissioner Anthony Batts had said that this would happen. Now, we also learned about some new evidence in this case. According to Deputy Commissioner Kevin Davis, he said that they were able to confirm that after Freddie Gray was detained by police, a a second stop was made at Fremont and Mosier. This apparently was captured by a private citizen camera. Now, Commissioner Anthony Batts has also made it clear that the investigation is far from over, and if the state's attorney wants new witnesses interviewed or evidence presented in the case, the police department will provide that. I was communicating clearly I wanted a sense of urgency on this case to get the results out there. We dedicated 30 plus detectives. Their full time job was focused on this case and only this case, including labs, lab personnel, and academy personnel, and homicide detectives in our FIT team. The family and the community and the public deserve transparency and truth. Now, police gave a second news conference earlier today to give some updated stats as far as arrests and the curfew was concerned. Uh, we have learned that 98 officers have been injured since Monday. 13 of those are now out on medical leave. 106 people who were arrested during the riots have since been released from jail because 48 hours had come by without charges filed. We have also learned that 11 people were arrested last night for breaking curfew. Now, as you guys had mentioned, there is another news conference planned. This for 6:30 with both state and local leaders. What exactly uh, they're going to tell us is not known at this point, but it does have something to do, at least from an email that we received, uh, with security. We'll bring you that uh, news conference as soon as it is available. For now, we are live at police headquarters on Lowell Melser, WVAL TV 11 News. Lowell, thank you.